Good evening, children. Good evening, Good evening ma'am. Ma Good evening. <clears throat> so you must have completed all this in your classwork. If not, please complete it. Let me just explain them now. So here we are given that cosecant theta. Cosecant theta is equal to 3x and cot theta is equal to 3 by x. Now we need to find the value of 3 of x square minus 1 by x square. Now what is given is uh, cosecant theta and cot theta. Cosecant theta and cot theta. Now we are going to connect them using an identity. We know that cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is 1. We know that because why are we using this identity? Because we are given the values of cosecant theta and cot theta. So using cosecant theta and cot theta, we have this identity. Cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. Now substitute. What is cosecant theta? 3x. So what is cosecant square theta? Cosecant square theta, 3x the whole square. I've told you many times that cosecant theta, the whole square. Is what is cosecant square theta? Cosecant square theta is nothing but cosecant theta, the whole square. So cosecant square theta will be 3x, the whole square, whatever is cosecant theta, 3x, the whole square minus cot square theta, cot square theta, which is nothing but cot theta, the whole square will be 3 by x, the whole square is equal to 1. So 3x, the whole square is 9x square minus 3 by x the whole square is 9 by x square. 3 square is 9 x square is equal to 1. Now what's common? 9 is common. Bring out 9. So 9 into x square is 9 x square. And 9 uh, into 1 by x square is 9 by x square. 9 into 1 by x square. 9 into 1 by x square is 9 by x square. 9 into 1 by x square is 9 by x square. 9 into 1, 9 by x square. So when you take out 9 common, when you take out 9 common in the bracket, you will have 1 by x square and minus, of course, this minus sign is equal to 1. But we have to find the value of 3 of x square minus 1 by x square. So we'll write 9 as 3 into 3 because we have to find the value of 3 of x square minus 1 by x square. So let's write 9 as 3 into 3, 3 into 3 of x square minus 1 by x square is equal to 1. So since we have to find this, we'll have this on the same side. We'll transpose 3 alone. We'll transpose 3 alone because we need to find this value. So we'll take 3 alone to the other side. So 3 of x square minus 1 by x square is equal to 1 by 3. 1 by 3. So sometimes you will be given the values of secant theta and tan theta. Secant theta and tan theta. Then you have to use the identity secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to one and proceed. And if you're given, if you're given uh, the values of sine theta and cos theta, supposing sine theta and cos theta, then you must use the identity sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. I'd ask you to take screenshots of uh, a few answers the other day. I did not explain them. So if you have already complete, you should have completed it in your notebook. If you haven't, leave some space, complete it later. You were asked to complete this by today's class. If you haven't, you have to leave some space and complete it later. So this is the explanation for the first one. See the next one. If sine square theta into, see if there is no sign. Now when we write x, y, it means it is x into y. It's x into y. Similarly, sine square theta cos square theta means it's multiplication. See here, sine square theta cos square theta. That means sine square theta into cos square theta. Into cos square theta. x y meaning x into y. It's not x plus y. When we write x y, it is not x plus y or it is not x minus y. It is x into y. Similarly, Sine square theta cos square theta means sine square theta into cos square theta. So sine square theta 
this is what is given to us sin square theta cos square theta into 1 plus tan square theta into 1 plus uh, cot square theta is equal to alpha is equal to alpha we need to find the value of alpha we need to find the al uh, value of alpha so now see here sin square this is what is given to us this is given to us so how do we start working sin square theta into cos square theta now what is 1 plus tan square theta we know that secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. So from this, we have secant square theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta. Secant square theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta. So 1 plus tan square theta is nothing but secant square theta. Is nothing but secant square theta. Similarly, 1 plus cot square theta is nothing but cosecant square theta from this identity. Cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. So when you transpose this, you will get cosecant square theta is equal to 1 plus cot square theta. Cosecant square theta is equal to 1 plus cot square theta, which means 1 plus cot square theta is nothing but cosecant square theta. So what do we do in the first step? In the first step, using the identity, we replace 1 plus tan square theta with secant square theta and 1 plus cot square theta with cosecant square theta is equal to alpha. <clears throat> now, we know that sine square theta, sine theta and cosecant theta are reciprocal ratios. Uh, and similarly, cos theta and secant theta are reciprocal ratios. So we group them. So we write sine square theta, and then we bring this uh, cosecant square theta here, and then cos square theta, and then secant square theta here. It's like we are, we are grouping these two and these two. We just write in a different order. Like we have A, B, C, D is equal to alpha. We write A, D uh, and uh, okay, we write say A, C, B, D. We write A, C, B, D is equal to alpha. Just grouping like that. We write A, C, B, D is equal to alpha. Like that. So we, we group sine square theta and cosecant square theta because they're reciprocal ratios. And cos square theta and secant square theta. Again, because uh, they are reciprocal ratios. Now, in the next step, write sine square theta as it is. Cosecant square theta is equal to 1 by sine square theta. Because what is cosecant theta? Cosecant theta is 1 by sine theta. When you square on both the sides, when you square on both the sides, you get cosecant square theta is equal to 1 by sine square theta. Similarly, write cos square theta as it is. Secant square theta is equal to 1 by cos square theta because secant theta and cos theta are reciprocal ratios. You can also do this. You can write cosecant. See, you can also write cosecant square theta as it is. You can write cosecant square theta as it is. And uh, you can, you know, write uh, sine square theta as 1 by cosecant square theta. You can write sine square theta as 1 by cosecant square theta. See, sine and cosecant are reciprocal ratios. So you can write uh, sine square theta as 1 by cosecant uh, square theta and write cosecant square theta as it is. And then you can write cos square theta as 1 by secant square theta and write the secant square theta as it is. So change any one is equal to alpha. So now cosecant square theta, cosecant square theta cancels. Similarly here cancels. So what do we have? 1 into 1 into 1, whatever. So 1. So alpha is equal to 1. So very simple. Using the uh, identity, we write uh, 1 plus tan square theta as secant square theta. 1 plus cot square theta is cosecant square theta. Then we group sine square theta and cosecant square theta. Cos square theta and secant square theta. And then using the concept of uh, reciprocal ratios, they get cancelled. And the value of alpha is 1. So here you're given four options. You're given four options. Uh, we are given that A and B are complementary angles because A plus B is equal to 90 degrees. A plus B is equal to 90 degrees, which means A and B are complementary angles. Two angles are said to be complementary if their sum is 90 degrees. Two angles are said to be complementary if their sum is 90 degrees. So A plus B is equal to 90 degrees. A and B are complementary angles. We have to evaluate this expression. We have to find the value of this expression and say if it is equal to this, 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 or this. 
So what is the idea here? How do we start working? Change, you know, write all the angles in A, sorry, write all the ratios with respect to angle, excuse me, children. Yeah, so write all the angles. Oh my God, again, write all the trigonometric ratios with respect to angle A or with respect to angle B. In other words, in simple words, have only A or B. Now we have both A and B in the expression. In the expression given, we have both A and B. Now write this expression only in A or only in B, anything. There's nothing like you have to write it in B or A, anything. In A or B, what have I done here? Let me just see. I have written it in. You can write it in A or B, children. I have written throughout in um, A. Okay, I've converted it to A. Fine. We'll work in B now. We'll also do it in B now. So the idea is this. We have in the expression to be evaluated, we have both the angles A and B. So what we should do is, we must write all the trigonometric ratios with respect to angle A or B, any one. So let's do that. So because um, uh, A plus B, A plus B is equal to 90 degrees. We know that A can be written as 90 minus B or B can be written as 90 minus A. You can write A as 90 minus B or B as 90 minus A. Choose anything. Now I have written B as 90 minus A. I have written B as 90 minus A. So that means wherever there is B, use 90 minus A. Wherever there is B, use 90 minus A. So what will happen? The In the expression throughout, we'll have only A. All the B is removed and replaced with 90 minus A. So we'll only have A. So that's what is here. That's what is here. So this is the expression to be evaluated. This is the expression to be evaluated. What we do? Because A plus B is 90 degrees, we know that B is 90 minus A. So wherever there is B, see, there is B here. So what we do? 90 minus A. So see here, tan A, tan A. Tan B, instead of, see, we've written tan. Instead of B, instead of B, 90 minus A, 90 minus A. Then plus tan A, plus tan A. Cot B, cot B is 90 minus A. So cot instead of B, 90 minus A. Divided by sine A as it is. Secant B, so secant B is 90 minus A. So B is 90 minus A. Instead of B, 90 minus A. Minus, minus. Sine square B, so sine square B is 90 minus A. So instead of B, instead of B, 90 minus A divided by cos square as it is. If it is A, write it as it is. If it is B, write as 90 minus A. So that is the first step. That is the first step. <coughs> then what we have to do, we'll have to simplify this. What is tan 90 minus A? So we know that uh, cot theta, cot theta is equal to tan 90 minus theta, tan 90 minus theta or tan 90 minus A will be equal to cot A, cot A, complementary ratios, not reciprocal ratios. Whenever we have 90 minus something, use the concept of complementary ratios, not reciprocal ratios, complementary ratios. Tan 90 minus A is cot A. Tan 90 minus A, see write this tan A as it is. Tan 90 minus A is cot A, tan A as it is. Cot 90 minus A is tan A because cot and tan are recip sorry, cot and tan are complementary ratios. Cot 90 minus A is tan A. All right, divided by sine A as it is. Secant 90 minus A is cosecant A. Secant and cosecant are complementary ratios. Secant and cosecant are complementary ratios. So secant 90 minus A is cosecant A minus sine square 90 minus A. Sine A, sine 90 minus A is cos A. 
sin square 90 minus a is cos square a, squaring on both the sides. Sin 90 minus a is equal to cos a. Sin square 90 minus a is equal to cos square a, squaring on both the sides. So sine square 90 minus a is cos square a. Sine and cos are complementary ratios. Cos square a as it is. So the first step throughout, uh, we use uh, complementary ratios. First, we write b as 90 minus a. And then using uh, the concept of complementary ratios, we get the next step. Next step. Now, now we know that tan and cot are reciprocal ratios. So you can write cot a as 1 by tan a. You can write cot a as 1 by tan a. <clears throat> or you can write tan a as 1 by cot a and cancel anything. You change any one of the two. Change any one of the two. Right? I've written tan a as it is and I've written cot a as 1 by tan a because tan and cot are reciprocal ratios. Very simple, children. If the introduction, uh, the other day what I, uh, what we discussed in the class, that introduction is what you need to know. Very, very simple. See, tan a as it is. Cot a is 1 by tan a because cot and tan are reciprocal ratios. And tan a into tan a is tan square a. Tan square a. Tan a, cot a, sorry, uh, tan a as it is. Cot a is 1 by tan a plus tan a into tan a is tan square a divided by sin a as it is. Cosecant is 1 by sin a. Or you can write cosecant a as it is and write sin a as 1 by cosecant a and cancel. Sin a and cosecant a, see sin a and cosecant b are not reciprocal ratios. Sin a and cosecant b, no, they are not, the angle should be the same. Sin A and cosecant B are not reciprocal ratios. Sin A, you can write this as 1 by cosecant A and cancel. So I have written sin A as it is and I have written cosecant A as 1 by sin A. Reciprocal ratios. Minus, this gets cancelled. So 1, minus 1. Minus 1. So now, tan A and tan A cancels, sin A and sin A cancels. So there is nothing here. That means there is 1, 1 plus tan square A. Sometimes we'll forget to write 1. We'll write only tan square A. We might forget to write 1. We'll write only tan square A. Please remember, tan A and tan A gets cancelled. There is 1 here. There is 1, 1 plus tan square A it is. 1 plus tan square A, 1 plus tan square A. Here also sin A, sin A cancels by 1. Minus 1. Here also. See here. Minus 1. Don't leave it. Don't think this is gone. It's not 0. It's not 0. Like if you have 5 by 5. 5 by 5. 5 ones are 5 ones are. So you have 1 there. You have 1 there. So don't forget to write that minus 1. Minus 1. Cancels 1. Minus 1. So. <clears throat> Uh, we have 1 plus tan square a by 1 minus 1. So this one you can just remove it off. So it is 1 plus tan square a minus 1. Uh, plus 1 minus 1 cancels. Tan square a, that's the answer. Tan square a is the answer, we got it. Tan square a, see it, we got it, tan square a. Now we'll go to the options. Tan square a, tan square a, oh, it's not there. Tan square a option is not there. So what we do? Actually, this is the answer. Tan square is the answer, but you don't find that in the options. So what you do, you write A as 90 minus B. A as 90 minus B because A plus B is 90 degrees. What is A? 90 minus B, 90 minus B. So since we don't find this answer in the options here, we write A as 90 minus B. And what is tan square 90 minus b? Tan square 90 minus b is cot square b. Tan, tan 90 minus theta is cot theta. Tan square 90 minus theta is cot square theta, squaring on both the sides. So cot square b. Now go and check cot square b. Yeah, it's here. Cot square b. So the value of this expression is cot square b.
children, you can also, I told you, A plus B is equal to 90 degrees. You can also write A as 90 minus B. And wherever there is A, you can take away A, write 90 minus B. 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 Like this also you can work. And you will get this answer straight away. Cot square B, you will get straight away. I think in, uh, instead of me doing it, you know, you please try it. You will become more confident. When you do it by yourself, you know, you will feel better. <clears throat> so that's what I said. You can have all the uh, trigonometric ratios in terms of A or B, anything. So when we get the answer tan square here, uh, tan square A here, since it is not among the options given, we convert it. We write A as 90 minus B and tan square 90 minus theta is cot theta, cot square theta. That's about the third one. Yeah, this is simple. I don't have anything to say because uh, you're given uh, the value of 1T ratio, tan theta, which connects the opposite and adjacent side. So find the hypotenuse using Pythagoras theorem. Then find cosecant theta and secant theta. Uh, and then find cosecant square theta minus secant square theta. Cosecant square theta plus secant square theta. And then divide the two values. Divide the two values. It's very simple. See, we have to find the value of this expression. We have to find the value of this one. For which we need cosecant theta and secant theta. We need the values of cosecant theta and secant theta. And from that you can find cosecant square theta and secant square theta. So what we do, we use this in a right triangle. We use this in a right triangle for theta. You can also mark theta here. I have marked theta here. I have marked theta here. So for this theta, for this angle, this is the opposite side. This is the adjacent side. And this is the hypotenuse because it's opposite of the right angle. So find the hypotenuse using Pythagoras theorem. Then find cosecant theta and secant theta. And find this one, cosecant square theta minus secant square theta. Find that. Then find uh, uh, cosecant square theta plus secant square theta here. Cosecant square theta plus secant square theta here. Then divide the two values. Divide the two values. So this is simple. Using a right triangle, you can easily get the answer. Did I uh, show you the answer slide for this one, children? Uh, class, use the emoji. Raise your hand. Ramanathan, Raja Rajeshwari, Kanishka, Hitesh, Netra, Priyanka, Murali Krishna, Nandini, Sneha, and Harini. All right. All right. Yeah, my question is. Did I show you the answer slide in the last class for this question? Yes, ma'am. Yes, thank you. Yes. All right, children. So this one, as you can see, the angles are standard angles. You can get the values from the table. So simply get the values from the table. And if it is power four here, well, what was the value of cost 30? Cos 30, see, cos, cos uh, 30 degrees to the power 4 is written like this. Cos 30 degrees, the whole power 4 is what is written like this. So whatever is the value of cos 30, write that and raise it to the power 4 and raise it to the power 4. So this is just number work. I have nothing to explain here.
This also, I think uh, I showed you the answer slide, right? Yes, or yes, no, children? Yeah. Now, be very honest. How many of you have uh, written out all this in your uh, tuition? Lower your hands, class. Class, lower your hands. Thank you. Priyanka, please lower your hand. Now, class, how many of you have, uh, you know, completed whatever you were supposed to? How many of you have completed? You have taken some screenshots in the last class and you were expected to complete it by this class. Sneha and Harini, you finished writing? Ramnathan has written. Yes, ma'am, finished. Okay, what about the others? Raise your hand ma if you finished uh, it. Last. Yes, Kanishka. Ma'am, last class I was absent, ma'am. Like, I didn't attend the class. So I didn't complete last class notes, ma'am. And I don't have a screenshot also. And? Kanishka, what did you say? And? You did and, not? Uh, like, I don't have the screenshots, ma'am, of the last class notes that you have given. Oh, okay. No, but I shared the meeting recording. So. You can use that. Yes, ma'am. After completing, uh, maybe I'll tell you. Okay. Something else is also pending from your end, Kanishka. You said you'll share it with me, but I don't think you did it. Uh, oh, ma'am. What, Kanishka? I don't remember anything like that, ma'am. Okay, your class book is up to date, right? Except for uh, last uh, Saturday's uh, notes? Yes, ma'am. Okay, fine, good. So I was telling in one of the sessions that uh, uh, I've shared the, uh, you know, uh, playlist link for trigonometry. That you, you should use the same link. You don't have to uh, request till we finish trigonometry. You don't have to request me. Supposing you miss a class, you don't have to request me for the meeting recording. You just you tap on the playlist link. That link will be updated with the meeting recordings. I don't have to send you for every each and every class. I've shared the uh, I've shared the playlist link for trigonometry. Save that. Save that. So every time I uh, download the meeting recording and upload it. The playlist link is updated, so everything will go into that playlist uh, playlist. So as long as it is trigonometry and you missed a class on trigonometry, you don't have to ask me for the meeting recording. Use the playlist link, tap on it and you will see the uh, meeting recording there. <coughs> Please save the uh, playlist link children. All of us understand that. There is only one playlist link for every chapter. All the meeting recordings will be uploaded there. So I don't have to share the meeting recordings of every class with you. You simply have the playlist link. You can use the same link. To see all the meeting recordings of trigonometry. Okay, so the, the so that's what I am not giving you homework because I see that children are busy with school. There is something or the other with school homework, writing stuff, test. I'm not giving you anything to write, and uh, so I I really cannot uh, you know like uh, ask you why you were not able to complete. I'll just assume that you had some school work to do, but please don't leave it incomplete, children. Please fill it up in your classwork. This one. What about this one, children? Those who have completed Ramanathan, Sneha, and Harini. Was this? Uh, have you taken a screenshot of this one in the last class? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So let me explain this. One minute. This is all proof. 
Okay. Yeah. So here if sine theta is equal to a by root of a square plus b square, find tan theta, find tan theta. So always remember when you, uh, when you have uh, the value of 1t ratio, you can find the others using a right triangle, using a right triangle. So see here, I've taken a right triangle, called it ABC, and I've marked this angle as theta. Theta should be an acute angle. You cannot mark this right angle as theta. That's wrong. You should mark one of, there are only two acute angles in a right triangle. In a right triangle, there are only two acute angles. Either this can be theta or this can be theta. This cannot be theta. This cannot be theta, the right angle. I have marked this as theta. So by the definition of sine theta, uh, it connects the opposite side and the hypotenuse. So it connects BC and AC. It connects the opposite side and the hypotenuse. So BC by AC. So sine theta by this figure is BC by AC, opposite by hypotenuse. And that is given to be A by root of A square plus B square. So Philip, the opposite side, BC is A. BC is A. And then the hypotenuse AC is the hypotenuse AC is root of A square plus B square. Now, what will you do when you know these two sides? Using Pythagoras theorem, you will find AB. You will find AB. So by Pythagoras theorem, AB square will be equal to the hypotenuse square. AC square minus BC square. AC square minus BC square. AB square. So write this is AC, AC square minus this is BC, BC square. Now square root of and it's uh, squared. Like if you have root 5 the whole square, it is 5. Root 5 the whole square is 5. It's like the square root and the square gets cancelled and 5 is the result. So here what happens? The square root and the square gets cancelled. So the value of this one is root, uh, a square plus b square. The value of this one is a square plus b square minus a square. See, it's like the square root and the square gets cancelled. So the value of, uh, the value is a square plus b square minus a square. So a square minus a square gets cancelled. So a b square is equal to b square. So a b is equal to square root of b square. A b is equal to b. A b is b. This one is b. Now what should you find? Tan theta. And what is tan theta? Opposite by adjacent. B c. Opposite b c by adjacent AB, opposite by adjacent BC by AB, BC by AB, A by B. So tan theta is equal to A by B. Tan theta is equal to A by B. Very simple. So I had asked you to complete these six answers. Uh, you know, in the last class, last class, had, uh, you, you, all of you had taken screenshots of these six answers and you were supposed to complete it by today's class, but some of you, most of you haven't. Please finish it today. I've explained all of them. Please finish it today. Yes, children, so you're taking up a test now. Start working this paper. Start working this paper. Uh, you can uh, you can work question number one. Two is easy. Uh, three is easy. Four easy. Meaning uh, we have discussed uh, questions like these. Five can be tried. Six can be tried. Seven also. OK, one to six. Let me not burden you. One to six children. Please start working. One to six. I'll just get back in some time.
Yeah, who can share the answer for the first one? What's the value of A? 15 degree more. 15, huh? 15 more. Was that Kanishka and uh, Raja Rajeshwari? 15 more. Yes, and then also. Very good. 15, let me see. 15, very good. A is equal to 15, very good. Very happy after a very long time. <laughs> Yes, children, please check your working. <clears throat> Those who want to take the next question, take down the question. I'll show you the slide. I'll show you the first answer. If you want to, if somebody is uh, in the middle of something and you want to take down some question, write down the question. <clears throat> Or maybe you can take a screenshot of this one. So if you want the next question, you can refer to the screenshot. Yeah, now for those who want the first answer, see here. So we find A using the concept of complementary ratios. Complementary ratios. Sine theta. Sine theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta. Or cos theta is equal to sine 90 minus theta. You can use any one of these two, any one. So you can see the two methods here. <clears throat> this is what is given. This is given. You can see this is given. Now here, what we do is we have written cos theta. This is cos and this is theta. See what is cos theta? Sine 90 minus theta. See this is cos and this is theta. This is theta. We write cos theta as sine 90 minus theta. Can you see the sign here? Cos theta is sine. See the sign here? 90 minus theta. See, this is theta. See, that's all. That's all. The rule is cos theta is equal to sine 90 minus theta. This is the rule. So theta is this one. Cos theta is sine. So you can see the sign here. 90, 90, minus theta, minus theta. See here, theta. This one is theta. But you should be careful. Uh, since it's a minus here, you must write theta in a bracket. You must write theta in a bracket because uh, theta is 30 minus A. So you should write it in a bracket. You must write it in a bracket. <clears throat> Everywhere it is 30 degrees only, children. Everywhere it is the angle only, 90 degrees, 30 degrees. OK, so now after this is easy, 90 minus 30 minus into minus is plus A. Then 90 minus 60, uh, 90 minus 30 is 60, 60 plus A. On the other side, we don't do any change. Here in the uh, right hand side, we change cost to sign. No change in, on the other side. Now you see that sign of this angle is equal to sign of this angle. So that means these two are equal. On equating that, you get the value of A. Here, uh, we have used the rule sine theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta. 90 minus theta. We have changed this one. What is this? Sine theta. Sine theta is cos 90 minus theta. Sine theta. This is theta. You can write that as cos 90 minus theta. So see the cos here. 90 minus and theta in bracket. So we have converted sine theta to cos 90 minus theta. That's all. Don't change the other side. Don't change the other side. Let that be cos itself. So on both the sides here we have cos. Here on both the sides after changing we have sine. First we had sine and cos. After changing using complementary ratios on both the sides we have sine. Here on both the sides we have cos. So again, on comparing both the sides, because cos of this angle is equal to cos of this angle. On comparing both the sides, we have A is equal to 15 degrees. Very important, very simple, very important.
All right. What's the answer for this one? Still working, is it, children? Yes, ma'am. All right. Fine. Let me know once you get the answer for the second one. Anyone has finished the second one? Has anyone finished the second one? Which are the two sides uh, sine theta connects? Sine theta connects the? Opposite and hypotenuse. Man. Opposite is equal to opposite by hypotenuse. So Raja Rajeshwari, are you using a right triangle to find tan theta and cot theta? No? Ma'am, I tried, ma'am, but I didn't get the answer, ma'am. Okay. Right triangle 
supposing this is theta opposite by hypotenuse. So what will be this one? The side will be OK. Let's mark it ABC. So AB, AB square uh, plus BC square is equal to AC square. So AB square is what we have to find plus BC square. That is M square is equal to the square on the hypotenuse. So AB square is equal to N square minus M square. AB is equal to square root of N square minus M square. This is not N minus. This is not equal to N minus N. AB is equal to square root of N square minus M square. Now we need to find tan theta and cot theta from this. And substitute in this expression. Substitute in this expression. Okay. Let me show you the answer slide. See here. OK, I have used an identity. OK, you can use a right. Say I've given you the node below here. I've given you the node below here. The values of tan theta and cot theta can also be found using a right triangle. Since this is the simplest way of doing, I always say, you know, like uh, work in a different method so that, you know, children get a different idea. I showed you now using a right triangle. You can find the tan theta and cot theta using a right triangle. So what you see here is. What you see here is since we need the values of uh, tan and cot children, since you need the values of tan and cot to evaluate this expression, it's in, it, it's enough if you find tan or cot, because if you know that if tan theta, supposing is four by five, the cot theta is equal to five by four. Cot theta is five by four. You know that. So it's not that you should find tan theta and cot theta. It's enough if you find either cot theta or tan theta. If you get one, you can get the other reciprocal. So now what you see here is we have only sine theta. We have sine theta, but with sine theta you can also find cosecant theta. What is cosecant theta? If sine theta is m by n, cosecant theta is n by m reciprocal ratios. So we know this identity cosecant square theta minus write on all the three identities if you want sine square theta plus cos square theta is one cos square theta is one. Then uh, secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to one. Let me write it more neatly. One minute. So sine square theta plus how do you decide which identity to use is one uh, secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to one and then co cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to one. These are the three identities. Now we know sine square. We know sine theta. So if you use this identity, you can find cos. Mom, I can't hear you, mom. Children, am I not audible? You're audible, ma'am. Okay. Please raise your hand if I'm audible, children. Am I audible to you, Hitesh, Murli, Krishna, Netra? Uh, Sneha and Harini, maybe you can leave the meeting and join again. See if that helps. Mom, I can't hear you, Mom. I'll just, I'll just. Uh, I don't know now. This also you can't hear me. Can you see my chat? I've shared my screen. Uh, is my chat visible, children? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so then, yeah. So please choose from these three identities, children. So I have chosen this one. What my idea is, 
uh, that uh, this one has cosecant square theta and cot square theta. So I thought uh, 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 since we know sine theta, it means we also know cosecant theta. So if you use the value of cosecant theta here, you can find cot theta. And with cot theta, you can find tan, tan theta. That's the idea I worked in my mind. And that's what you see here. You first plan and then you, you know, execute it. So these are the three identities. These are the three identities. I chose this identity because I know the value of cosecant theta because I know sine theta. So I also know cosecant theta and substituting that I can find cot theta. And from cot theta, you can get tan theta. Am I clear children? Please say yes or no. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. All right, children. So of these three identities, we use the identity cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to one. Because we know the value of cosecant square theta because we know sine theta. OK, let's see the answer. So we choose this identity cosecant theta sine theta is m by n. So cosecant theta will be n by m reciprocal. And since it's cosecant square theta square here minus cot square theta we do not know is equal to one. So now solve this. You're solving to do what? To find cot theta. You're solving to find cot theta. OK, so now uh, n square by m square minus one is equal to cot square theta because we are, we are trying to find cot square theta or cot theta. So we'll take this uh, minus cot square theta to the other side. So n square, somebody's mic is enabled. Please disable your mic. Kanishka, uh, please disable your mic, Kanishka. Sorry, ma'am. Yeah. So on solving this, um, n square by m square minus one transpose minus one is equal to cot square theta. So take the LCM cot square theta is equal to m square common denominator n square minus m square LCM. LCM. So this is cot square theta. So what is cot theta? Cot theta will be equal to the square root of this one cot theta will be equal to the square root of this. So what is the square root of the numerator? Square root of n square minus m square. And the square root of the denominator is m. See, you can include the step. You can include the step here. You can just include the step. So cot theta is equal to the square root of uh, n square minus m square by m square. So the, the square root of the numerator is this one, square root of n square minus m square. And the square root of the denominator, root m square is m. You can see it here, m. So this is what is cot theta. The reciprocal of that will be tan theta. Now substitute the values. Now take up the expression given. Substitute the values. You found tan theta. You found uh, cot theta. Substitute and uh, simplify. Please write down this children. Please work the second one.
Okay, so here after substituting uh, tan theta is uh, m by root of n square minus m square. And 4 cot theta, so 4 into cot theta, 4 cot theta, so 4 into uh, root of n square minus m square by m, 4 cot theta. Then you have plus 4 in the numerator and plus 1 in the denominator. So simplifying, it's actually easy. Uh, it looks compli uh, complicated. See, I've taken the numerator here. You can see this numerator here. And divided by, divided by, you can see the denominator, de denominator here. This is the denominator. This is the numerator, this is the denominator. And I've used the division symbol. So what will you do here? LCM. What's the LCM here? Root of n square minus, in the numerator, the LCM is root of n square minus m square. That's what you see here. LCM, common denominator. Here, root of n square minus m square. Then you will get m plus 4 into 4 into, see like, see it's so difficult to explain now. Now see, uh, supposing you have m by n minus plus 4, what will be the common denominator n? Then you will get m plus 4n, m plus 4n, common denominator n, m plus 4n. Similarly here, this is the common denominator. That's what you see here. m plus 4 into this, 4 into the denominator, 4 into this one, 4 into root of n square minus m square divided by here the common denominator is m m so write this as it is 4 root of n square minus m square as it is and then here plus 1 into m m simply lcm children the usual concept of lcm then i write this one as it is division becomes multiplication take the reciprocal of this one So then what happens? You can see here, uh, these two expressions are the same. These two expressions are the same, so they get cancelled. These two expressions are the same, they get cancelled. So the leftover m by root of n square minus a, m square, n square minus m square. You can see here m plus 4 root of n square minus m square. Same thing here also. It's like a plus b and b plus a. So they get cancelled. Watch it carefully. So these two gets cancelled. These two get cancelled. And m by root of n square minus m square. That's the value of this expression. So you can find out uh, the value of cot theta and tan theta. You can find out this value of cot theta and tan theta using the right triangle. Using the right triangle. But this working will be the same. This working will be the same, just that instead of using this identity, you can also use a right triangle and get these two values of uh, cot theta and tan theta. But this working is common. This working is common. So using the right triangle, what we did, we said uh, this one is theta opposite by hypotenuse and we got this one we worked earlier using Pythagoras theorem we got root of n square minus m square so what is tan theta tan theta is equal to opposite by adjacent opposite m by adjacent root of n square minus m square and what is cot theta the reciprocal of this one or adjacent by opposite adjacent this is adjacent by opposite so you will get the same thing you will get the same thing See here, cot theta and tan theta. Same thing you'll get. Whether you use a right triangle or an identity, you'll get the same value for cot theta and tan theta. Done writing, children? Yes, ma'am. All right. Yeah, express sin A in terms of cot A. I think I'll show the answer slide, try to understand. Expressing sin A in terms of cot A. See, when it is sine, you can also use cosecant because they're related. Sine, you can read the question like this. Express sin A in terms of cot A. Or you can also read like this. Express cosecant A in terms of cot A. Why? Because sine and cosecant are reciprocal ratios. So if you find cosecant, you can find sine. 
so you can read the question both the ways express sine in terms of corte or express uh, cosecant in terms of corte so it is easy to express cosecant in terms of corte because they are related through an identity read the question like this express cosecant because cosecant and sine are reciprocal ratios cosecant and sine are reciprocal ratios express cosecant in terms of corte or oh, that is easy because cosecant and corte are related through this identity so write down that first cosecant square a minus cot square a is 1 now we'll write cosecant in terms of corte so what is cosecant square a 1 plus cot square a what is cosecant a? square root of 1 plus cot square a. so this is cosecant a. we got cosecant so now we're going to get sine in the next two steps so what is cosecant a? it's 1 by sine a. we know that cosecant a is 1 by sine a. so see this this is cosecant a is nothing but 1 by sine a. and that is equal to root of 1 plus cot square a. see this one we are writing the same thing instead of cosecant a we are writing its equivalent 1 by sine a. we are not taking reciprocals cosecant a is the same as 1 by sine a. write this as it is now we are taking reciprocals on both the sides 1 by sine a we are writing as sine a reciprocal so the reciprocal of this is 1 by root of uh, 1 plus cot square a. taking reciprocals on both the sides you get this step taking reciprocals on both the sides first step i said read the question like express cosecant a in terms of cot a let's do that cosecant a and cot a are connected through this identity cosecant square a is equal to 1 plus cot square a So cosecant a is equal to square root of because cosecant square a. So cosecant a is equal to square root of one plus cot square a. Now we got cosecant a. What is cosecant a? One by sine a is equal to root of one plus cot square a. Now take reciprocals on both the sides. Instead of one by sine a, you are writing sine a. The reciprocal. You have written the reciprocal here. One by sine a. It's reciprocal is sine a. Here also write the reciprocal. taking reciprocals on both the sides let me write that taking reciprocals on both the sides reciprocals on both sides on both sides we get sin a is equal to 1 by root of 1 plus cot square a very simple this is how we write sin a in terms of cot a we have written sin a in terms of cot a you can see on one side we have sin a on the other side we have only cot a you can have numbers you can have numbers 1 2 3 and all that but other than that you can have constants other than the constant you have only cot a you don't have any other ratio so this is writing sin a in terms of cot a and cot a can be cot square a cot cube a that's fine not that you should get only cot a it can be cot square a cot cube a so we have written sin a in terms of cot a please write down all right so what is the idea you take away from this uh, answer so when you have to write a uh, sin a in terms of cot a you can also write cosecant a in terms of cot a you can also write cosecant a in terms of cot a now how do we actually go about this answer we connect cosecant a and cot a and that is through this identity and then we proceed yeah this you can do children what is the first thing you should uh, uh, you know observe what can you say about the angles yes what can you say standard angles yeah they are standard angles so you can get their values from the table 
table. Very good. From the table. Yes, children. Just substitute the values. Get the values from the table. Put them here and find the value of x. Yes. Work and let me know the value of x. Done, children. What's the value of X? Class. <clears throat> Saran Murali, are you in the class from the beginning? I didn't see you. Uh, I was came at 8.30. 8.30, yeah? Okay, why late today? Um, uh, I was studying for the exam, and then I wanted to come. Oh. Exams are going on, is it at school? So what do you have tomorrow? Social studies. Okay. All right. Ma'am, is X is equal to three? Three. Yeah, you're right. X is three. 
very good cosecant 30 degrees sin 30 degrees sin 30 degrees 1 by 2 so cosecant 30 degrees will be the reciprocal of 1 by 2 2 and cosecant square 30 degrees so 2 square sin square 60 sin 60 is root 3 by 2 square because sin square 60 tan 30 1 by root 3 square then it's just about solving. I think you can help yourself. I have nothing much to explain here. This three and three will get cancelled. This will get cancelled. So eight plus three x by four minus one by four is equal to ten. Yeah. <clears throat> the value of x is 3. Very good, Nandini. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, others, any questions you can ask me? Please complete this answer. See, then on taking the LCM, so 8 minus, when you 8 minus 1 by 4, and then when you take that to the other side, 10 minus that is 9 by 4. Again, 4 and 4 you can cancel. So 3x is equal to 9. x is equal to 9 by 3, which is 3. Please work, children. Yeah. So evaluate uh, cot 15 degrees, cot 16, cot 15 degrees into cot 16 degrees into cot 17 degrees. Goes on like that into cot 18 degrees, into cot 90 degrees, into cot 20 degrees, into cot 21 degrees, so on, up to cot for, uh, 75 degrees. So the product. It's a product. There is no sign in the middle. So it's multiplication everywhere. Multiplication everywhere. So we need to find this product. We need to find this product. So as I've told you, uh, now you can see that uh, 15, 16, these are not standard angles. We may, we, we in the middle, we will have 30 degrees, which is a standard angle. And then we'll also have uh, 45 degrees, which, uh, which is a standard angle. We'll have 60 degrees, uh, which is a standard angle, but most of them will not be standard angles. Now, how do you solve this? So we must, uh, you know, keep, keep in mind this idea. Uh, in such cases, we always, uh, you know, pair uh, ratios in which the angles are complementary. We pair the ratios in which the angles are complementary. Like we'll pair cot 15 degrees and cot 75 degrees because 75 plus 15 is 90. Then we'll pair cot 16 degrees and cot 74 degrees because 74 plus 16 is 90. 
So pair the trigonometric ratios uh, in such a way that their angles are complementary. All right. <clears throat> so that's what it is. So you can see here. So you can see here, children. Part 15 degrees. I've paired. OK, I've not written that step, so maybe I'll write it here for you. One minute. So you can take this as the first step, children. Part 15 degrees is paired with cot 75 degrees. Then cot 16 degrees. Cot 16 degrees is paired with cot 74 degrees. Like that, when you go on like that, when you go on like that, in the middle, in the middle, you will have <coughs> cot 45 degrees. How will you find out that? What is, what is uh, 15 plus? What is 15 plus um, one minute? Just we'll just take an example like this. Yeah, consider this one 15 part 16. Please be patient. All right, now I have written from 15 to 25. I've not written from 15 to 75, but I've written from 15 to 25. Now let's pair. OK, I'm just I'm just uh, showing you how the pairing works. So I'm pairing 50 here. The angles are not complementary children. I'm just showing you when we pair what is left out in the middle. That's what I'm trying to show you. Instead of taking from 15 to 75, I'm showing you from 15 to 25 how it works. So see your 15 to 25. I've paired uh, 15 and 25. Then I paired 16 and 24. Then I paired 17 and <coughs> 23. <coughs> then I paired 18 and 22. Then I paired 19 and 21. And this quad 20 is left in the middle. So who is that person who's left in the middle? Just do this. 15 plus 25. The first one plus the last one. 15 degrees plus 25 degrees is 40 degrees by 2. Cot 20 degrees will be in the middle. After pairing, cot 20 degrees will be in the middle. I'll do it again for you. I'll do it again. You just have to have the patience for me to finish writing this. 16, cot 17, cot 18, cot 19. I'm writing everything. Cot 20, cot 21, cot 20. Cot 22, cot 23, cot 24, and cot 25. Okay, now we're going to pair. I told you the pairing will not, uh, you know, make the angles, will not be uh, such that the angles are complementary. This is just an example. So we pair the first and the last one, then the second and second and the one before that, then 17 and 23, then 18 and 22, 19 and 21. Cot 20 is left in the middle. How do you identify that? So the first angle 15 degrees, the last angle 25 degrees. 15 plus 25 is 40 and 40 by 2 is 20. So cot 20 degrees is the angle that will be in the middle. All right. <clears throat> Similarly here. In this question. Just a minute, children, just a minute. Yeah, I'm back. Um, so yeah, I'm grouping the first angle, the first one. The we'll wind up the session with this one, children. Uh, two more minutes. So caught 15 degrees and the last one caught 75 degrees. We are grouping the first and the last one and then caught 16 and caught 74 caught 16 and caught 74. 
then cot 17 and cot 73. So like that, it will go on. And what will be in the middle? 15 plus 75, the first one 15, plus the last one 75. 15 plus 75 is 90, and 90 by 2 is 45. So cot 45 will be the angle in the middle. Cot 45 will be the angle in the middle. So what will be the last pair you will make? What will be the last pair you make? Cot 44 and 46 and 45 will be in the middle. I don't know why I didn't type the first step. So I'll show you now. So you, you it will go on like that and the last pair will be cot 44 degrees and cot 46 degrees and cot 45 degrees will be uh, left in the middle. Don't work this now. I'll just talk, uh, you know, prepare a new slide and you can take down. I'll share it on WhatsApp. I'll change it now. I'll change it now in some time and then I'll share it, uh, share the answer with uh, all the steps on WhatsApp with you. You can complete it later. So like this, when you group uh, 15 degrees, the first one, 15 and 75, 15 and 75, then group 16 and 74, 16 and 74, then 17 and 73. So when you go on like that, as I told you, 15 degrees plus 75 degrees is 90. 90 by 2 is 45. So 45 will be left in the middle. Cot 45 degrees will be left in the middle. So if cot 45 is in the middle, cot 45 will be left alone in the middle. It will not have any pair. So on this side, it will be cot 44. On this side, it is cot 46. So the last pair will be cot 44 and 46. And cot 45 will be left in the middle. This will be the last pair, cot 44 and 46, and cot 45 will be left in the middle. Like when we did 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, what happened? 15 and 25, uh, 17 and 24, uh, uh, sorry, 16 and 24, 17 and 23, 18 and 22, 19 and 21, 20 in the middle. 15 plus 25, 40, 40 by 2, 20, 20 in the middle, left alone, no pair. The last pair is 19 and 21. Similarly, similarly, the first angle here is uh, 15 and the last one is, first one is 15 and the last one is <clears throat> uh, 75. Uh, so 15, <clears throat> 15 plus 75. It's 90, 90 by 2, 45 will be left in the middle. 45 will be left in the middle. So it will be like this. Cot 15, 75, 16, 74, it goes on like that. The last pair will be cot 44 and 46, and cot 45 will be left in the middle. And cot 45 is a standard angle. 45 degrees is a standard angle, so you can get the value from the table. Next step, what this is the next step. Next, what you have to do is cot 15, cot 75. Change any one. Change any one. I have written cot 75 as it is. I've changed cot 15. Cot theta is tan 90 minus theta. Tan 90 minus theta. I've written this cot in the pair. Change any one. From the pair, you change any one using complementary ratios. So cot 15, I've written as tan 90 minus 15. Cot 75 as it is. Here, cot 16, that is cot theta, I've written it as tan 90 minus theta. This cot 74 as it is. From the pair, change any one. Any one you can change, any one. Using complementary ratio, write the other one as it is. So cot 74, I wrote as it is. Cot 16, cot theta is tan 90 minus theta. So like that, it will go on. And cot 44 is tan 90 minus 44. This cot 46 as it is. And what is the value of cot 45? One. That's what you see here. Cot 45 degrees is one from the table. Next step, right after subtraction, tan 90 minus 15 is tan 75. 90 is subtract. 90 minus 15 is 75. And cot 75. And 90 minus 16 is 74. Cot 74. Uh, 90 minus 44 is 46. And cot 46. That into one you can just remove because into one no, so you can just take it away. <clears throat> now use reciprocal ratios. Now use reciprocal ratios. What is tan 75? 1 by cot 75 into cot 75. So they'll get cancelled. 
what is tan 74? 1 by cot 74. Tan theta is 1 by cot theta. So tan 74 is 1 by cot 74. This cot 74, write it as it is. Always, whether you're using complementary ratios or reciprocal ratios, don't change both. You will have a pair. In the pair, change any one. So here also. Tan 74 is 1 by cot 74. This cot 74 as it is cancels. So like that here, tan 46 is 1 by cot 46 into cot 46 as it is cancels. So the value of this expression is 1. The value, because it's 1 into 1 into 1 everywhere. 1 into 1 into 1 into 1 into 1. So which is 1. The value of this expression is 1. This answer, I'll just uh, include that step and uh, share the picture with you on WhatsApp. You can complete it with that one. All right, children. So that's it for today's session. Thank you so much. Good night. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, children. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, children. Thank you. Thank you. Good night.